what is up guys welcome back to the channel man so we got something that came in for the zv1 we got the field world f6 plus touchscreen 5.5 inch field monitor for the zv1 as you guys may know i got the zv1 and i want to make sure that i give the zv1 every opportunity possible to be great and you guys know that i love to try to maximize the functionality of my gear and I feel like having a field monitor for my ZV-1 will do the trick. Uh, typically, uh, recorded with my iPhones, I really didn't need a field monitor because I was able to use my iPhones. Uh, one was my camera and one would be uh, my monitor. But however, the ZV-1, um, I know some of you probably saying to yourself, Jay, got a flip out screen and stuff like that. Yes, it does have a flip out screen. However, to me personally, the flip out screen is just a little bit too small, just a little bit. And I've always wanted to get a field monitor for a dedicated camera. I just never got one for my old DSLR because I didn't primarily shoot video with it. Uh, but with the ZV-1, I've already popped this open and I've already, you know, kind of tinkered around with it. And for what it is, it is a great addition to the Sony ZV-1. Some of the things I do like about this uh, is the fact that it's a bigger screen than the typical small one on the uh, side of the ZV-1 to flip out screen. And I can, you know, line up my shots a little bit better. So what I want to do for you guys real quick, since I've already opened this and I've already tinkered around with it, I'm just going to show you guys... Uh, what all comes with it if you was to get this one. Uh, let me say this real quick too. Uh, I paid $157 for this one. Uh, and the reason be, and the reason for that, I'm sorry, is because it came with batteries and stuff like that. So I'll show you guys everything that it came with. I'll show you guys how I got it hooked up to my Sony ZV-1 and what it looks like with my ZV-1 and my actual stand and stuff like that. Um, I won't go through all of the functions and features, but I will turn it on and show you guys that stuff. Um, but I will come back at a later time uh, and give you guys like a full in-depth review of this after I've been using it with the ZV-1 for about a month or two. Uh, without further ado, I'm gonna show you guys what we got in the box. Uh, I'm gonna lay it all out, move the box out of the way, lay everything out. We'll talk about each piece, show you guys what it looks like on the ZV-1, and we'll just chop it up from there, all right? Stay tuned. So basically, this is everything you're gonna get in the box. Now, keep in mind, I did get mine for $157 from eBay, so it came with the battery and stuff like that, but first and foremost, you're gonna get a manual. Uh, next, you're gonna get a sun hood and the actual frame for the sun hood. I haven't opened that because I haven't taken it outside to use it. I'm moving this stuff out the way as we talk about it too. Uh, you're going to get your actual battery charger right here. This is what the battery charger looks like. And it came with a actual cable. And this is the actual battery case. I meant the battery uh, uh, charger box that it came in, in case you guys wanna see that. So that's that came in there as well. Let me move that out the way. Uh, then last but not least, uh, as far as batteries are concerned, you got the battery. Uh, I don't know if you guys know, but Andy Cine and I think Field World, they kind of work hand in hand, but I think Field World is the main company. I think Andy Cine is uh, like a brand to them or a sister brand, I don't know for sure, but the uh, battery, this is a F, I mean an NP F uh, 550, 570 or uh, 330. So that's what this battery is. Uh, and all you'll do is slide that in, charge it up just like that. Uh, and this is what the uh, battery box came. This is what the battery came in the box right here. Move that to the side. Uh, then you're gonna get your little uh, arm right here and you're gonna have the actual monitor itself. So basically, you know, you will put this in right here and then you will sit this on your camera and you will screw that in. So uh, let's look at the monitor real quick. Uh, so this is the monitor down here on the bottom. You got your SD card so you can load your own LUTs. Uh, however, it does come with four pre-installed LUTs like S-Log 2, 3 and so forth. You got your DC in, you got a screw hole, you can monitor your audio, uh, and you got your uh, DC in type C right here as well. On this side, you got your HDMI in and out, DC uh, out there. On the back right here is where your battery will go. So basically you would slide uh, the battery in, push down, slide the battery in, and it'll look like that. And it is not heavy when you add the battery to it. Uh, I've already taken, it, had, it came with a pre-installed uh, screen protector, but I took it off already. Uh, right here, you got your touch, you got your power on and your touch button so you can toggle touch on and off. So if you don't want to use touch screen and you just want to use the menu wheel, uh, you can cycle through stuff like that. So uh, basically, uh, it's lightweight. I like it. Uh, it is a great addition for the ZV-1. It's way bigger. I don't know if you can see the ZV-1 in the screen, but this screen here is way bigger than the screen on the ZV-1. So it's going to come uh, in handy 100%. So uh, like I said, what I want to do for you guys real quick is I'm gonna get this thing set up, get my tripod set up. I'll probably point it at like a plain wall or something and I'll give you guys like a little small tour of uh, what it looks like uh, mounted up with my ZV-1. Turn it on, let you guys see it a little bit. I'll probably touch the screen, do a little bit of the functions and stuff, just a little bit. Uh, I don't wanna go too far in depth because I'm still trying to understand and learn it myself. 
Although I do know the options and some of the features, I already know them based off of just, you know, using the camera in general. Uh, but I want to make sure I, you know, kind of know this thing in and out before I start giving you guys any tips or tricks on this thing. So uh, let me get this thing set up real fast and uh, I'll show you guys what it's going to look like on your Sony ZV-1 if you was to get one of these. All right. Be right back. All right, so this is what it looks like on the ZV-1. As you can see right here, oh, let me make sure I let you guys know, I'm just using the standard camera app on my iPhone 12. I don't have any microphones or anything plugged in, but I still have the uh, wireless microphone plugged into the ZV-1. As you can see, the audio levels are moving here. So uh, don't beat me up with this portion of the video. I'm just trying to show you guys real quick. Uh, so this is a quick comparison right here. Let me show you. So the screen size, as you can see, that's what the screen size looks like. That's the small screen. So this is the ZV-1 flip out screen and this is the actual field world uh, monitor. So now basically what I can do, um, I got this thing so loose cause I'm just trying to hurry up. So basically what I can do is uh, close that up and just use this monitor. And also the monitor rotates so I can rotate it that way. And once I rotate it that way, uh, the image automatically flips on the other side, which I'll show you guys here in a second. Uh, but this is what it looks like. Got your arm here. I got my audio uh, hooked in right here. So this is where my wireless audio is going uh, right there. And uh, basically, this is this is it. I am going to invest in a smaller cord, though. I just got it wrapped like that uh, just for the time being. Uh, so I will get a different cord. Uh, but this is what it looks like. And I actually I like it, man. You can also tighten it up right here if you just need to. So if you uh, need to loosen it up or tighten it or rotate it, whatever way, uh, you can do that. Uh, just looking at some of the basic functions of this thing. Obviously, you got everything on your camera screen here. But if you swipe from the bottom, you can get a few settings right here. You got focus assist, histogram, audio meter, vector. Uh, you can even turn on all waves, uh, which will give you a good representation of all your waves. It'll put your um, audio in the other corner over here. Uh, so you can even turn that off, swipe up from the bottom. You can turn that off. If you double tap the uh, screen, then this will come up. These are all your other settings right here as well. So if you open it up, you got all of these different settings uh, right here that you can uh, utilize from audio meter to focus assist, zebras, you name it, uh, nine grid, which is what I got on the screen now. Uh, I mean, you just name it. I mean, there's so much stuff. You got LUTs. You can switch between your LUTs. You can import your LUTs and you can use the pre-standard LUTs uh, that actually come in the actual... Uh, monitors so like s log 2 uh and s s log 3 and so forth and that way it'll show you already what it's going to look like if you was to use those uh LUTs. but let me turn that back off uh you got a lot of different things in here but we'll go through some of that stuff at a, at a later time uh so i'm gonna show you guys i'm gonna flip it over and i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like uh when i'm in front of the camera so this is what my view actually looks like so i got my camera here and i got the monitor sitting up there i don't typically pull out the little flippy screen when i'm using this monitor uh, and as you can see, the, the, it flipped over uh, the other way. So the screen does flip. So when I turn it this way, it automatically adjusts. Um, so now it's basically correct. Um, and, I, and I think it's cool, man. I think it's real cool. I do want to invest in a smaller cord. I'm just using that temporarily. But uh, this is what it looks like, man. And I think it looks... I think it looks amazing, man. I think that if you have a ZV-1 and you want to push it to the max, man, I think this is the best way to push it to the max, man, uh, right here. It looks great. The colors on this thing is immaculate, man. Uh, everything about it just, it just fits, man. And I think that it's the perfect size for the ZV-1. I don't think that the ZV-1 is too small for such a monitor of this size being 5.5, but for the most part, I think the uh, Sony ZV-1 and this monitor fits really, really well. So uh, with that being said, guys, uh, I hope you have enjoyed this uh, quick, quick video. I just wanted you guys to see that we got something else for the Sony ZV-1. We have another uh, piece of gear that's going to help aid us in recording with the Sony ZV-1. So it's been your man, Jay. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.